anyways, that's it. What else you want? What? Uh, yeah. Alright, recording. Well, hello there. The fuck are you waiting for? Take the damn bag off. Kus... Kus ma olen kes... Nah, or should I say blank out? Doesn't matter. Either way, put your YouTuber act on. And perhaps answer some of my questions. Hold your tongue. We don't want to upset your viewers now, do we? Put your content creator smile on and smile for the camera. Who are you? Shh. Shh. This will be over very quickly. Now, as we all know, you blank gods. <laughs> you are a beginner streamer and content creator. And recently you uploaded a video called Crazy Mythics, Magic the Gathering, March of the Machine Unboxing. In that video, you revealed one of your many hobbies, I presume. And you have been collecting Magic the Gathering cards, but what do I, nay, I should say we, want to know? Is how long have you been a magic, magic the Gathering fan for? Five or four years. Five whole years. Astonishing. Why the fuck does it matter? The less you deviate from my questions, the quicker this will be over. Okay? Good. Now, what? Is your favorite color? I. <laughs> I'd say blue, but I like the combo of green and black or white and black. Why does it matter? Good. Not so hard, was it? Blank. What was that about? Never mind. Also, in your last video, you showed us your decks. But what is your best deck and what do you call it? It's a green black elf deck, which basically has a lot of green out or green black elves. The whole point of that deck is to get as many elves out as possible. And at the same time, when you play health creatures then you also boost other elves and create more elf tokens simultaneously. I also have a black and blue zombie deck which is almost as good as the elf deck, maybe a little bit weaker. Here, take this. Now what do you think of the newer deck metas? Like the ones where your enemy draws a card, uh, puts down a card, draws another card, and over and over and over and over. Until it's too late and the game is over. Trust me, you don't want to go there. And why is that? Look, why is it wet? This topic could go on for hours and hours and hours, but the point is I hate those decks and while they are good or should be banned, it is still a form of a type of a strategy. But they do ruin games for other players. Fair enough. If you were to rate the colors from S to F, how would you rate them? Green is definitely S. Black, I'd say, is A or 
B white is B red is C and blue is definitely F. I mean I do hate playing with against blue decks because whenever you see a blue deck you already know that deck has a counter spell so yeah <laughs> you should have done like blue right? aka water well I don't like blue either but what's a little water can I do with you? <laughs> anyways as you already know, Magic the Gathering is the oldest trading card game in the world. But what do you think of other trading card games? I mean, I like Pokemon cards, but they're, the game's just too fucking difficult. Yu-Gi-Oh! I've heard from other players is a very paid win, so to say. But... Magic the Gathering for me is just, it, it isn't too expensive, it actually is really fucking expensive, but it isn't pay to win, you can have 5 year, hell even 30 year old cards and you can play against modern decks without any problems. And it has the right amount of difficulty which is just perfect for me. The only... <laughs> The only thing that I'm a bit sad about is the fact that people, if you ask anyone on the streets if, or like, what is the first trading card game ever made, then they usually answer Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or something else, but maybe even Magic the Gathering, but the first two options are, have, like, are more promising. Well, this is a lightning round. I will ask you questions very quickly and you will have to answer them as quickly as you can. Or my old friend over there will give you a smack. <laughs> First question. Do you want water? No. Are you homophobic? Actually, Yes. What? S sorry, I, I mean, yes, I actually do want some water. How many of your pickles can you fit in a jar? Five. What kind of lubricant do you use to fit your pickles in a jar? What? <coughs> Have you killed someone? Almost. Now for my final question. Do you have a Discord server? Yes, actually, and soon it will be out for all of you to join. Where are you going? Uh, yeah, so this whole video was just made for this single reason to announce that I now have a Discord server. You still cannot join it, but you will be able to join it really, really soon. What the hell is going on with my gym? Whatever. <laughs> I know this the acting was really weird and I gotta be honest like my acting fucking sucks but it was my first time time actually doing a sketch of this type where I have to act as two different characters in a single video so it's really fucking weird and kind of hard but whatever uh anyways yeah i will be getting a discord server it's it will be called blankers and it will have my face as a picture or server profile or whatever you want to call it i'm still setting it up it might not be available when i'm uploading this video but we'll see about that so stick around because the sketch still isn't over I still have to escape, so how am I over here? Back to you then, I guess. Well, it was fun to have you. You may go now and do as you please. You're free. Thanks for joining us. Fucking finally.
Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> Finally finished it. Actually, not yet. As you can see, I'm still recording. This fucking video took me four, technically three days, but there was like one day in with in between where I didn't edit or record, but still four fucking days to put this together. It was a lot of fun. I hanged out with my friend and my brother and we just made some silly things. We had a lot of ideas, a lot more ideas, but sadly those ideas just like came into our minds a bit too late. So yeah, uh, just saying. I know the video is a bit weird, mainly because it was very rushed. Uh, I didn't have time to prepare for it at all. So, yeah, that's something, I guess. And a lot of the distortion you may see in the background is because I used my editor to stabilize the videos. So, it for some reason created some distortion. I just thought it would do something completely different but no matter the camera is more stable that way so yeah i also broke my chair this this very same chair like you can s it isn't supposed to do that <laughs> i mean yeah it will go back that's only if i pull the lever But there's like this metal frame inside of this that broke its snap because my brother jumped on me. It was like the very first clip, I mean, the, uh, that happened in the previous video, but still. But yeah, the video was a lot of fun. Uh, I tried out a lot of new things. I have actually made videos like this before, but not for YouTube, more like for school projects. But they were a lot different in a lot of different ways. The reason why this was so difficult was, like I said before, I had to play as two different characters. I had to play as the interviewer and blank, aka me, myself. Playing myself wasn't that hard. The harder part was actually playing the interview interviewer. It was very difficult. And the beginning part, like the very first clip of the interview where I have a bag over my head and I also have to sit on the other side. That's completely new to me. I had like that was the very first time I did something like this and it was fun. The end result was actually fucking awesome. And basically, yeah, I, I don't have a win or something like that. Like it's just the complete effects, you know, so. Yeah, like I am over here, but I also am over there. So how are you doing, mate? I'm good, mate. Awesome. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, there's some bloopers, like something like this, I guess. Okay, so back showing myself. Seven weeks. Seven weeks. Seven weeks. Seven weeks. Seven weeks. Or perhaps this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Got or maybe even that? Finally! Ah, ow, my fucking hand! Hey, motherfucker, be gentle! What the name of the world is the world? Is the world? Is the world? Is the world? Ah! Oh, shit. But, <laughs> yeah, a lot of different things happened. I am. Um, I wish I could do more. I wish I could do like redo a lot of these things because I really believe that a lot, maybe even ninety 
5% of this video could have been recorded or acted a lot better. Like, angles could have been a lot better, uh, acting could have been a lot better, and some other ideas and little bits and clips and things and that could be a lot better. I also learned a bit more about sound, like how you can uh, fix some of the sound in the post-production and also how you can like widen out the uh, music in the background and stuff like that so i have to stop watching youtube because whenever i watch youtube i end up on guide videos like how to edit some of the specific things they are fun to watch but they also give me more work <laughs> you know because now that i know this i can use this in my future videos and i'm like oh my fucking god there's so much more things I could do so much more better could be fun but also fuck's sake I have more for work now but yeah anyways that's it thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then let me know in the comments down below uh, I don't think I will be doing any videos like this anytime soon because they take a lot of time and effort and they are really really hard to do if you want them to be perfect. Maybe if I have like different acting roles then it would be better but yeah anyways this is it thanks for watching and bye.